Hello and welcome back to another Shadowlands gold making video. So today we are once again taking a look at some old expansion materials, but this time you also have the possibility of obtaining a couple of battle pets while farming, making the farm even better because it's a mix of steady gold and RNG. And considering Shadowlands is right around the corner, farming these old expansion farms right now is perfect so you have a larger stockpile of items to sell in the Arrange Shadowlands without having to farm old expansion content in Shadowlands itself. This will also be one of the last old expansion material farming videos in a while, as I am preparing for Shadowlands, and I have a couple of Shadowlands preparation specific videos coming up, so hopefully you guys enjoy this farm and hopefully you have been enjoying my last couple of videos about old expansion material farming. These farms really can give you a ton of gold per hour and they will pretty much always be relevant, so you could watch this video in a year and it will most likely still be relevant and still give roughly the same gold per hour as it does right now. So yeah, this farm right here takes place in the Northern Stranglethorn and you are farming at this island right here. On this island you will find a lot of lesser water elementals which drop essence of water, which is what will give you your steady gold per hour from this farm. On top of that, there are two battle pests that can drop from any mobs in Stranglethorn, and this is the Parrot Cage, Hyacinth Macaw, and the Rasashi Hatchling. Both of these battle pets are insanely valuable, like for example, the Rasashi Hatchling is worth around 20k gold, and the Parrot Cage, Hyacinth Macaw, is worth between 35 and 50k gold. Essence of Water sells for between 70 and 90 gold, so let's just say 80 gold. I only farmed this for 15 minutes because I joined the group towards the end of their farming session, but I was farming with Saif, another World of Warcraft gold making YouTuber, and he sent me a screenshot of his bag after one hour of farming and he got 215 essence of water after one hour of farming, which with the average price of 80 gold gave him 17,000 gold per hour steady. You will also notice he actually got both battle pets as well from that same one hour test, which gives him another 50 to 100,000 gold, depending on if you're on a server with low or high prices. Again, these prices are based off the EU average price. Getting the battle pets is however insanely RNG, and technically you should get one battle pet for every 5,000 kill you do. So if you kill 1000 mobs per hour, you should get one battle pet every 5 hours in pure statistics. But since it's RNG dependent, that is not exactly how it works, but you get the idea. It's a 17,000 steady gold per hour gold farm based off of the average prices of the essence of water, with the addition of getting some insanely high valued battle pets as well, which you can sell for even more gold. On top of that, you can obtain some transmog pieces here as well which adds even more value to the farm. I will leave a link to Saif's video in a pinned comment on this video, so you can see his video on it as well. Since he tested the farm for an entire hour, and I simply joined the group to help him test the location. And that is pretty much it for the video. If you are looking for old expansion materials to farm, this location is really good. And if you are looking for other things to farm, I would suggest either primal life farming, or albino cave fish fishing, both videos will be on the screen right now, so you can go and check those out as well, if you're interested. Leave a like on the video before you click away, and that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.